Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, first time for me, I treated myself to a camera. I didn't spend too much on it because my budget, I had a little bit of a bonus from work. So, I thought I'm going to treat myself, get a camera. So I'm not always relying on the old phone because the memory's not that great in it. Well, it's 64 gig, but by the time you, like, with all your photos and all that, it's not that good. You know, it's, I always run out of space, basically. So, yeah, I'm recording for the first time on my camera, so I hope I don't mess it up and I don't mess up the microphone and everything. And, yeah, so, yeah, hopefully this all goes okay. So, um, so before we get into your video, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below what you think of this idea, of, not idea, of this kit and also... If you like this video give me a big thumbs up i think i got it right God. my brain i'm too excited about the camera <laughs> i'm such a loser <laughs> so yes this um is a different kit again for you guys um not one of the ladybirds i actually popped into home bargains and um i purposely went to try and buy one of these um as far as i know they do two types but they only had this one and this was the last one left otherwise i would have grabbed mum one it already comes on canvas so it's already mounted and every so it's ready to be hung on the wall when we finished it this cost me ooh, try and get it right this cost me six pounds from b and m yeah oh god I'm, I'm not used to this i hope that this all comes up right when the, i'm editing because at the moment on the screen it's all backwards it's really weird so yeah it's really you know it, a different kit and um, i know it's one i can easily publish on youtube because i bought it from a shop so yeah really really excited to do this this was the last one left in the shop i was with grandma mum one so I know that she would have really liked to do one too. But yeah, for six quid, it looks like it's going to be quite fun. And it's all ready to be mount, put on the wall once it's finished. So yeah, let's get crack it. Let's flip it over and get, get a... Right, so the auto uh, the focus on me other cameras not quite as good as my phone. So for close-up things, I'll still use my phone. Just so you guys get the best quality possible at a distance, it is looking absolutely fab, but close up, it's not looking as clear as my phone. So, here it is close up the actual canvas. I just thought I'd quickly show you again so you guys get a better view of it. So I just literally loaded up the um, footage onto my laptop. I do think it could be a little bit clearer. But you know what, for what I want my the camera for, I'm not grumbling. It didn't cost me an arm and a leg. And so, I, honestly, I'm, I'm really happy with my camera still. So, oh, other things we got was wax, green tray. Obviously, we saw the baggie on each other. Show you the pen in better detail. Here we go, is the pen. Really, really cute little pen, I have to say. Really, really is a pretty little pen. And this pen, I reckon, will look really, really nice if we decorated it too. And then I'll show you a nice close up as well of all the drills again. So, again, here's our red. And then our hot pink. And then we've got all four packets of the goldy yellow. Our dark blue, our nice light blue, our green, light green, our special other orange ones, and these larger round ones, which are very, very shiny, and these really nice, like larger AB ones, because you can, yeah, you should be able to pick it up. Really, really pretty colours all reflecting all of them. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly give you a close up of it just so then you guys can see better. I'll show you close up again of these. As you can see, it's sticking out. So, what I might do is contact the company and just give them a heads up and just say, Look, just so you know, uh, when you put the staples in, can you make sure they're flat? 
because I've just scratched up my table because there's a couple of staples not being put in properly and it's just scratched up your table. It's not the end of the world, you know, but if you had a really expensive table and yeah, and also I forgot to say there is I am true sheet, so that is going to be the awkward part. Is obviously they sh it would have been nice if they'd put a bit of paper separate. My husband's just got home, he's been to see his parents because it's his birthday today, and um, yeah, so that is our inventory sheet there. So that's just one awkward thing we've got to keep like flipping it over to check. But apart from that, really, really pleased with it. It looks like it's going to be really, really fun to do. Pulled out the old thingy so you can see. And the print is extremely clear, really, really pretty. And you can see the reflection. If you look at the reflection of the light, you can see exactly where the glue is. So you can see they haven't covered the whole thing in glue. They've literally just put the glue where each drill goes. So, yeah. I'm going to get cracking with this. I'm really excited to do it. Because this is going to look... I think it's going to look really nice when it's done. I am really excited. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to get cracking. And I shall catch up with you guys in a, you years, you guys in a minute. All right? As you can see, I've done quite a bit so far. Oh, I'm mean like, that's better. I guess you guys can see better. Right, yeah, so I've done quite a bit so far. I think I'm gonna, like, anything that's larger now, I'm gonna turn to like two parters. So then that way, um, I won't be stressing about how much time I'm spending on one project. Does that make sense? 
so yeah this will definitely be a two part because it is a larger project and that way because I, I can't I can't afford to spend like especially I'm gonna go I'm gonna order some bits from uh, I think I'm gonna order another painting from I'm gonna order a painting the DP from another website I've never used before like um that's in the UK and they're about twenty pounds so And obviously, you know, £20 for one video, that's a lot of money. So uh, that will be a a couple of part uh, just to... So I'm not spending mega amounts on one video. Because you guys know, I'm on a budget, so... Because I, when I bought my new camera, I debated whether to buy a camera or order a diamond painting from diamond art club i can't justify still spending 50 pound at the moment on diamond painting that's a heck of a lot of money it really is you know 50 pound on one diamond painting i'm trying the quality is excellent and everything but I've seen quite a few negative posts about the customer service lately, which does worry me. If there is an issue, then they won't solve the issue. And apparently the customer service can be quite snarky, which is a shame because I've heard such great things about the quality. But we shall find out when I do eventually order one. But it does come across as a lot of money. You know, like fifty pound for one dime painting, and apparently now they stopped the free shipping to like the UK. I've heard, I've seen on a post when you spend so much, so that stopped, and there will be custom fees as well. So it will be quite expensive. I am really enjoying doing this one. Love the colours. I really do. It does really, really have um, really pretty colours. I always like start with whenever I do like special shapes and all that. I don't know if anyone else is the same, but I do all like the normal rhinestone first, and then I do all the special ones last. It just makes it feel a bit, you know, it just builds up to the anticipation of placing, you know, the special ones. I don't know if anyone else does the sample if they prefer to do the special shapes first. But another reason why I like to do like special shapes is because sometimes they can be quite raised and when you slightly lean on it, then they can I don't know, I find they hurt my arm. But definitely um enjoying doing this one and I realise I missed some green there when I was doing the green yeah I'll do half of this and then as part two I will do the second half I think and obviously I have to work on the second half upside down because it's quite hard to reach 
I end up really getting really sore back if I do that. I've got all the light blue. Yeah. And this is when I have to move this off and check the number. Two. Make sure I am still in frame. I do like this pink, it does look pretty. So yeah, I, I'm actually really struggling of thinking what to talk about. I just never seem to know, I might have to put a post on me, um, Facebook group and say ideas of what to talk about when I'm recording, because I, keep going a blank I really do and now I'm just not even talking why don't you know really need to get used to trying and talk and doing this at the same time but you know it's like you're concentrating so much making sure you're getting them right you know my, my husband hardly actually has me talk to him when I'm doing stuff like this because I just get so into it Do you really need to talk about something? I don't know what. I want to sit down what to talk about. So I've got the week off work, which is nice. And um wasn't so nice at the beginning of the week because I just anyone who's going through stages of just getting horrendous headaches and migraines because I keep getting them. And I hate it. I really do hate getting migraines. One one time I had them for two weeks and oh I ended up being sent to the hospital by the um, doctors and they actually discovered. Um, and I think it is because of diamond painting. When my neck, um, well, my neck isn't, your neck's meant to be curved, basically. 
but mine isn't. And I do wonder if it's because of diamond painting. Because I said to him, I said, I, he goes, do you put your head down a lot? I went, yeah, well, I do this hobby called diamond painting. And it, obviously I have my head down doing that because it's like on a canvas and that. And he said, yeah, that could be. <clears throat> because um, of your neck position. So, you know, that could be, diamond paint could be the reason why I'm getting more and more headaches. Which isn't good because I do this because it relaxes me. I really enjoy it and it just takes your mind off what's going on in the world and everything else. And it kind of sucks really. You do something because you enjoy it and then it's just giving you headaches. Because it actually causes, um, at times I get, well, I'm, now I'm going to get a, oh, not always, but sometimes when I'm going to get a migraine. I get like tingling the back of my neck and like the back of my head. Like, um, you know, the area just above my neck at the back. Um, I get like a weird tingling, so I take uh, take breaks and everything. Can I do regular exercises for my neck and keep the muscles stretched out? Because what it is, it's because the neck is so straight. The doctors told me they did X rays and figured it out. Um, it's causing the muscles in the back of my head. You know just above the neck to spasm and the spasms are causing migraines so that's nice to find out but at least i didn't find out what it was it was nothing like serious but but when it gets really really bad then i have to take diazepam which is a muscle relaxer to help with the migraines you know when it's that bad when they do last for a good few days normally I can get rid of them with naproxen and tramadol and sometimes it's just normal it's just a bad headache and just like paracetamol or normal tablets will work sometimes other tablets like um, the ones you get from the chemists, but without a prescription, the Nurofen Plus, they are brilliant. They do help, but they do con contain a code or codeine. But they are brilliant. And you can get quite a few in a box from, you know, from the chemist. It's always handy, like, to have. I need to get some more of them. But yeah, definitely like watch your positions you're doing it. I should really invest in a table, but you know, one of these art table things, but I just I have no way to pull it. I really don't. So yeah, if you start getting a lot more migraines, start doing things like uh, neck exercises by like putting your head down, putting your head up, putting it to one side, putting it to the other side. Keep those muscles loose in your neck, you know, and stretched. Because I never realised that, you know, Time pain could give me bad migraines because sometimes oh, they've been bad. Sometimes at one point I had to take two weeks of work because it was they didn't go. I just kept going to, to the doctors in tears, just saying they're just not going. Please help me. And in the end, they did take me up the hospital. Well, not take me, but they sent me to the hospital to get it looked into, which I was. So grateful for it was nearly two weeks before he sent me and I went to doctors about five times so 
But usually, like, when I do get my ring, I only have them for a day or two. You know, for, um, for two weeks, I was just awful. I did nothing. I just laid in bed and... That was about it, really. So I couldn't really do much. It's just painful. Right, so I think I've been jabbering for way too long. So I'm going to... Um, Le uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, carry on this last little bit, and then um, end the video. All right. sorry yeah so first part is done really loving it I think it's coming out really really nice so yeah I really do like it so yeah really really pleased to how it's coming on got in the um, spare room early to catch the light as it's sunny outside <laughs> and everything else so and also something else to show you the lovely Jane, Jane, you have spoiled me so much. I mean, so, so, so much. Um, I was expecting my husband's um, birthday present to arrive, knock the door, Amazon man. Took the morning thinking, you know, put me all the separate things. I have one of us like, oh, wow, could believe it. Jane, bless her, sent me a bar of milker, which. I am going to thoroughly enjoy the cup of tea and also <clears throat> she sent me a really lovely and obviously she knows as I've mentioned I've got cats she sent me this so yeah really oh, really really pleased with special shape well so yeah, that's going to be really fun to do. I'm going to love doing that. 
and then see it's all different special shape and all the drills in it so yeah I'm gonna be I'm gonna love doing that and obviously she sent me the storage box as well which I couldn't believe so Jane you have seriously spoiled me thank you so much um uh, it's actually Jane that really inspired me to do the Amazon wish list because she said um I reckon she kept asking about sending me something and I oh, know you don't have to and everything and I said I'll tell you what I'll do I'll set up the old Amazon wish list and then but please don't anybody um feel like they have to send me anything I do it because I love doing it I really do and um but the the wish list um I've I've never mentioned where it is. It's in the description box with my Facebook and Instagram links. Instagram, I don't tend to go on that much. I might just swing on there maybe once a day if I remember about Instagram. Facebook is where I normally hang out and it's got my page on there. So you can show me what you're working on. You can see all my ideas on there and everything else. So yeah, check out my Facebook page. I know some people ain't on any form of social media, which is absolutely fine. You know, I do agree. It can be very toxic. So, yeah. Um, so that is it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, got the cop. Remember the old spill. Leave me a comment down below what you think of how my hour is coming on. I've got half, one half to do still. And then leave... And then if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. I don't know why the hell that just took way too long. I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.